Real quick before I start the video, to celebrate the launch of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, I am giving away a Nintendo Switch. This specific Nintendo Switch that is in my hands, I'm giving it away. I can sign the box if you want, whatever. But in order to sign up and enter to win it, all you have to do is click the link down in the description below. Click there, do as many things, uh, options there as you want, and while you're at it, you might as well leave a like on the video and don't forget to comment down below as well. Alright guys, let's move into the video and don't forget to enter to win. Greetings, Boogie fans! Michael here, and welcome to episode 5 of my Pokemon Ultra Sun Let's Play walkthrough. My very first journey through these enhanced versions of Alola. Uh, I did receive the product free from Nintendo, gotta say that, gonna keep saying it. And if you are enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like down below and answer the comment question, whatever that happens to be. Um, and if you missed the last episode, don't forget to check that out. Uh, we had... <laughs> we the struggle's been continuing for my team. There's been some some battles that have uh, not gone smoothly, uh, as you can tell by Temp being unconscious. And okay, the rock that 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 amount of HP is deceptive because I used a potion shortly before ending the battle. <laughs> but uh, oh, there's a totem sticker on the side of this building. But first, we're going to purchase some Malasada. Uh, sweet Malasada. And hopefully Litten is hungry. Alright, let's see how much Litten likes this. Hopefully sweet is its favorite flavor. Reluctant Bite. Bummer. It is not its favorite flavor, so that's only going to slightly increase its affection. Yep, okay. Oh well. How much affection does it have? Where is my refresh? Here it is. Hello, small cat creature. I just need to test your affection. One heart and is full. Okay, so it's gonna it's gonna be a little while before we start seeing any benefits. But that's okay. Uh, what do we do? Oh, I want the sticker. That's what I want. Hello! And there's five? I've already found five of these in this. I found six, I just don't know how to get to the, uh... You never mind. Yes, I do. Hello! I should heal my team before continuing to explore. That would be wise. But man, yeah, my team, I've I've been I've been really struggling with some of the battles. Pretty Oh, there's another one. Wait, how do I get over there? Ah. Alright, seven. Nice. Uh, is this still wet paint? No, it's not. It's dried in the time that I came over here before. But yeah, I, I, I just, I feel like I need to catch more Pokemon, even if I don't plan on using them on my final team. I just need to catch them, cause oh my god, <laughs> I almost lost it. If I, that battle with Emo was really tough, and I had to use so many potions, and I hate you winning battles by using a ton of potions. Like it's just not. It's not fair. It means I would lose the battle if not for that, you know? Um, but let's check what's down at the marina. Because normally the battle with Team Skull and Elima occurs at the marina, but this time it occurred in the middle of the road, which I uh, probably should mention. That uh, doesn't seem safe, but we did it anyways. Oh, there's a TM. I'll come back for that. The marina. I'm assuming you are not giving trips to Akala Island. Hello! Very sorry, but the ship is undergoing regular maintenance now. Okay, makes sense. So let's... Oh! Aha! Totem Stagger! Finding so many of these! Probably because they stand out from the background relatively easily. And they're not as hidden as some of the freaking moons in Mario. Is there anything down this little dock here? Oh, there is. Two things, a super potion and a totem sticker. Look at me go, skin so many of these, nine. Okay, well now we're gonna get this team. <laughs> if we find a furfro, I'm gonna catch it. I'm not gonna use furfro on my team, but I feel like it could come in a lot of handy just tanking some hits, some physical hits, like tackles and stuff. Be a fur fruit. 
Never mind. It's a wingull! These sea rats, sea sky rats, are everywhere! <laughs> Echoed voice. All right then. We're gonna we're gonna walk through the grass. Extra opportunity for us to find a fur fru. And a lowland grimer. You know what? We're gonna catch it. Why not? My team needs help. I'm not gonna use it on the team because that'll be conflicting with the dark types. But like, I need something. <laughs> I need more than just this magnemite that does not take hits as well as I thought it would. Fight, Ember. Okay. Pokeball. I have some great balls, but eh. It is done! We have captured the Grimer! What are you gonna name you? All right, another level on the rock. That's absolutely valuable. Temperature level nine. Uh, oh, data added to the Pokedex. Let's see the information on this Alolan Grimer. I wonder if the data, I didn't pay attention. Is the Dex data the same as Sun and Moon? Or is it different? There are a hundred or so of them living in Alola's waste disposal site. They're all hard workers who eat a lot of trash. Wow. Well, that's nice. Uh, sure. We're gonna call you... Uh... Goo. It's not particularly creative, but it is something. Okay, let's, uh... Okay, no more Pokemon in there. So we're gonna run back to the Pokemon Center. I actually think it's faster to go around than, like, clicking through the gates and waiting for them to load. Because the Pokemon Center is on this side, so we're gonna we're gonna heal up, and then we're gonna go to Route Two and see what Pokemon are hanging out there, and in the cemetery. Cemetery is there too. I would like to rest my Pokemon. Thank you. I appreciate the kindness, Madam Nurse Lady. Thanks for waiting. Hope to see you again. Bye bye. It was nice speaking with you. Wait for me, Michael, no! Oh my god! No, don't go without me! Wait! Okay, it's Lily. Pretty recognizable cutscene from this one. Going to Verdant Cavern. Prove yourself against the deities of Lola, Top of Coco. Most Pokemon battles. Uh, I don't know if it could answer. I don't think it really speaks. Um, three revives. Nice. I like how how. And Lily throughout this entire playthrough just like, oh, here's some revives, here's some more revives, here's some max revives, so on and so forth. Moa! Well, ah, Michael, I've got this ordinary creature gone again for now. Want to try giving you a little pat again? That's the only way he'll get used to you. Uh, touch its four legs, grab it by the horns, poke it on the nose. None of these seem like great options, but we'll do the uh, we'll do the four legs. Hmm, Doris didn't seem to care for that. What? Poke it on the nose? You want me to grab it by the horns? That was the thing it liked? <laughs> this is how I'm showing you affection, Tauros! Grabbing you by the horns! I caught it wrong. That was the- That was the one I was like, ah, oh, there's no way it's that one. What? What is the logic of that? Route 2 with a very reddish patch of ground. Let's see what's in the grass. Fight me, creature! <laughs> oh, that we're just running at each other. What is it? It's an Ekans. Okay. I'm not gonna use that. But I will knock it out for experience points because I. God knows I need those. Ah, three hit KO, that stinks. Oh, 
Oh, the quick claw let me move first when I was going to anyways! Crit! Nuts. Okay. Um, we'll just finish out with a scratch. Alright, we beat the Ekans. How much experience points is this gonna give me? Wow. Very little. That's disappointing. Okay. What? Oh my god, the Ekans we found wasn't the... What the heck was... What? <laughs> the Ekans we found wasn't the moving one. That's ridiculous. That's kind of funny that that happened. <laughs> it just... It had, like, the frame before it touched me, I got a random encounter with an Ekans. That's, that's pretty funny. I'm amused by that. Lots of Ekans here. Bet they eat a lot of the Alolan Rattata. Getting squeezed. For a second, there, I was like, "Okay, I got squeezed." All right, let's attack again. And then I was like, "Wait, what is going on my what's on my screen?" <laughs> I believe Litten evolves at level seventeen, so still, unfortunately, have a little solid chunk of way to go before that happens. But let's see what else is here. Ekans is probably the only like wasn't in Sun and Moon Pokemon here. Probably gonna be... There also appear to be quite a lot of them. Okay, this one's lower level. I'm not gonna mess with fighting this. I'm just gonna run. Uh, yeah. I feel like... There's, there's Makuhita here. I think there's Drowsy as well? Yeah, there's the Makuhita. Okay. We'll KO it and see how much experience points it gives me. It's only level 7, but... Gotta get the levels on, uh... On Litten! Kamehameha! It's going Super Saiyan! Alright, we beat the Makuhisa, no problem. Only 38. Eh. All right, we'll do three more encounters in this grass. Probably run back, get some HP back on Litten before I battle that beauty, and then... Another Makuhita, okay. Don't really have much interest in using a Hariyama. Um, like I said in a prior episode, I really like using dual types, so that's what I'm gonna be trying to use exclusively, because that's gonna mean I'll have the most amount of type coverage. There's the drowsy, like I thought. Okay. We'll KO it, and then after this we'll do one more encounter here in this grass. A little six? Dang. All got weaker from the, the Ekans. Ekans run this route. <laughs> Alright, we defeat the drowsy using our incredibly large tongue. And, uh, get one more encounter, like, on the edge before running back to the... If it's something I've seen before, I'm running. Oh, it's an Alolan Meowth, okay. So, no interest in that, sorry. I don't want to use the ball-headed cat. That I'm sure Giovanni is going to be very taken aback by when he arrives. When Rainbow Rocket and such arrives. That's such a pleasant little theme. Okay, Nurse Joy, please heal my Pokemon. And let's fight this beauty and hope the battle isn't too hard. Because <laughs> every battle I have done, except the Skull Grunt. I have done three battles since the... I did the... The last three battles I've done against trainers, two of them have been very difficult. <laughs> the Skull Grunt with Zubat was fine. But other than that... <laughs> Okay. All right, excuse me, miss. Uh, after our battle, would you want to go out for coffee or something? Welcome, Trigo. You think you can handle the ordeal of defeating a beauty? Probably. Hopefully. We'll see. 
Maybe... A cutie fly? Oh, we got this! I resist the fairy and the bug moves, and... Uh, a super effective move. Alright, sweet. A battle that's not gonna be freaking awful. Is that gonna one-shot? I one-shotted! Yeah! We did it! Whoa! Alright, the rock is level 14, only three levels away from evolving, everyone. Fire Fang! Ooh, power buff! Get rid of Leer. Substantially better than Ember. That's very much needed. <laughs> Congratulations, Goo. I bet you can finish any trial. Oh, she's moving! Oh, I didn't notice that before! After you win, the, the models are, aren't frozen like they were in Sun and Moon. She's actually moving. That's cool. Okay, let's see... Let's see what's here in the cemetery. Okay, clearly items, yes, but I want to see what's in the grass. I feel like it's going to be more limited what's here because it's not nighttime, but that's fine. Oh man, I had some water go down the wrong pipe. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, Zubat. I don't really want to use Zubat. I used uh, used Crobat several times. Like I said, I want to spice things up. Do some variety. Ghastly? Eh. Not particularly interested in the Ghastly. But, uh... Check out what else is here. Okay, what's this? Super potion. Another item. Ooh, a TM. Should definitely grab that. Oh, you were... Okay. I should have been paying more attention. But that's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Preschooler Malia. What a nice name. A Happini. Well, hello, you cute little egg creature. Let's use Fire Fang. Oh my gosh, Incineroar's Fire Fang in Pokemon the movie, I Choose You. You know, the newest Pokemon movie is awesome. It's like this big f jaws of flames that come out of its, like, belt fire, and it looks so cool. It was, it was so awesome. <laughs> Temp level 10. Hooray! Big mushroom. Oh, I need to sell my mushrooms. Get some cash money to flow. Alright, let's get that TM. We're probably gonna have to battle this rancher girl. Another Zubat. Alright, I'm primarily Zubats and Ghastly is here. Seems like about the same as last time. Haven't seen any Pokemon that are new for the the decks. New as in they weren't here in Sun and Moon, I mean. Confide. I'm never gonna use that. Um, I guess I'll fight you. Rancher, breeder girl, what are you? I think you're a breeder, actually. I think the breeders are... Yep, alright, cool. Ikue, that's a very interesting name. Must be, uh... Oh, it was caught in a friend ball. That's cool. Must be a language based in, in a language I am unfamiliar with. Please don't paralyze me with static. Of course. Play nice. What does that do? That's fine. We're just going to ember you and this is going to be over. Don't be fully paralyzed. Of course. This thing is really lowering my stats. Come on, Ember. There we go, all right. We'll get rid of the paralysis by rubbing you with a thermometer. We defeated Pokemon Breeder Ikue. Pikachu. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's a very funny, funny picture. <laughs> Aw. 
Come on, let's get rid of that electricity that is jumping through your fur. There we go! Don't have to use Paralyze Heels! And I get more affection, which means more affection benefits as we do it. Okay, I think there's one trainer. We're just gonna battle this guy. I don't think there's anything here I'm gonna use. When I come to Pokemon Cemetery, it's no good because I get some more. Well, that was sad. Oh, here's the dead inside office worker guy. I mean, just look at his eyes. <laughs> Picky pack. It's like the first one of those I've actually seen. <laughs> Surprised it took me this long to encounter one. There's probably some on Route 1, I just didn't run into any. Fire Fang. Uh, really, really enjoying the Fire Fang. That is definitely making the battles go smoother. Defeated Jeremy, and he's sad. I'm very sorry, friend. I hope you are not mourning a Pokemon of yours. And just are mourning them in general. Alright, let's go get that item. Sneak behind the youngster. Ooh, a sticker. We've collected ten! Should have kept running. They caught up to me. I don't know why I stopped. Guess I was afraid of running too far. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I was afraid I was just gonna like run off the edge by accident. Okay, got away safely. Heal ball. Okay. Maybe I'll use that if I want to increase the variety of Pokeballs that my team are stored in. Preschooler Pistons full power! <laughs> That's what I picture him saying. Preschooler Pistons full power! <laughs> oh my gosh. A Drifloon. Alright, let's uh, lick this thing. That's another Pokemon that isn't that in the cemetery in at least one of the versions. I didn't see one though, so... I know it was available in Sun and Moon because I saw John get a, uh, I saw John get a shiny one on stream a little while ago. Prior to this game being out, because clearly. <laughs> oh, aftermath. Oh, that's not nice. Rude. Ooh, almost level 15. Preschooler Dylan is very angry at his defeat. Okay. Uh, I went into this house, but let's see if there's any free things in here. It's good for kids to experience. Tried to set that point my stream, but when I did, I was the one who got beat. Ha! Huh. Kid's going on a journey and he lost. That's funny. There's a thin layer of dust. Whose room is this? Whose house is this? I'm very curious. I feel like it's a major character. Tall boy clasping his island challenge amulet with the clear glow of pride. Tall oh boy. Can't tell from these pictures. What's this book? The photo album. This is definitely someone important's house, but I can't figure out whose it is. Oops. Oh, hello, Crow Brawler. What? Cabral doesn't seem to want to let you pass it. It seems to be forcing you toward the motel, in fact. Well, that's an interesting new excuse for not letting me progress. We're up at the sea, that's right. Welcome to my wonderful seaside motel. The Cabral sure is some nanny. He naps passerby to bring them to me so I can send them down by the bay. I've actually been a little too good at his job, so I've got no vacant rooms to offer to you. But that doesn't mean you've come for nothing. Yeah, follow me this way. <laughs> this is... This extortionist motel manager is ha using physical threats of physical violence. Ah! Well, look at that rocker up just running around back there. That's cute. It's forcing forcing people over here. It's ridiculous. Oh! Oh, new area! Surfer bro, dude, let's battle! Lola Trail Girl, you seen it? No, you never seen a server before? No, I have not, and I'm looking forward to it. 
Oh my, what a nose this guy has. And a large earring. This is this is interesting new trainer class. A Delibird, oh perfect. He's so chill. Or as the kids say, trill. I don't actually think the kids say that, but. Why do I feel like Delibird suits a surfer? It's like a Christmas Pokemon, yet I still feel like it suits a surfer. I don't know. Alright, level 15! Carlton. Alright, Waze, even if I'm not feeling it, that's what surfers do, after all. Far out, man. That's totally tubular. Okay, well, we're gonna check out this new area. Oh, how nice. Oh, the waves? I guess it's... Why does the water look so purple? I guess it's because it's, like, getting to be almost dusk. It's, like, almost 5 p.m. in my game. Hey! what What's going on? BP shot. There's gonna exchange beach points for reward. Or, wait, was it, was it battle points? Or BP for reward. I mean, you want to hand over some of your hard-earned BP for a prize? No, I have none. Apparently you can earn BP from this. This is stopping by, you want me to teach your Pokemon to move? What moves? Oh, whoa, we already get access to move tutors, holy crap. Oh, that's sick. I definitely might be hitting this up. There's not a whole lot of great, defog, that's a big deal. What do you sell? It's nice I can look at it even though I don't have any BP. Yes. Very useful heal max potion. Okay. So early game, not super important things. Things that I can just buy. Yeah, wow. Purple water is tri tripping me out. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna let me do this yet. Hey, little cousin, welcome to Big Wave Beach. You've come exactly the right place if you're looking for some Mantine Surf. Mantine Surf is just what it says on the box. You climb up on the back of our Mantine, and then you surf. Surfing is the best sport where you can enjoy traveling across the ocean waves. The youngsters like yourself who want to get into Mantine Surf have to toughen up and show that they can really handle it first. Surfing is a bit of a dangerous sport, to be fair. Come back when you're as tough as a real kahuna, okay? Me and Mantine will be holding our breath in anticipation till you do. Wait, do, do Mantine breathe? Can they even hold their breath? I love how much these, uh, these, like, these, uh, what do you call it? Are you not gonna let me go up the ramp? It's fine. Like, <laughs> both of the girls who look identical, the swimmers with the, the brunette swimmers, oh no. The brunette swimmers with the yellow suits have both been, like, said something. Wait, is it this? Or is it this? And then, like, question themselves. Team Skull on the beach! Oh, wow, the sky got, uh, sunset -y real quick. Oh. Team Scout, you know you guys can't ride here. What's up with that? We look like kids to you or something? Uh, no, the real reason is that you're freaking criminals. Yeah, the real reason is... Every time you try it, you keep up those ridiculous dance moves, even on Mantine's back, and then you end up in the water. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You want us to stop dancing? That's our identity, yo! That's all we got! Man, forget her, B. I like how they actually call it the grunt. <laughs> We're Team Skull, no one can stop us from reacting hard-headed. Well, let's see how this is gonna go. Somebody please help these numbskulls away from my Mantine! From, from Mantine. I will fight you! Hey! Numbskull! You're that kid, you want to scrap Tiny Trainer? A battle gill? You might appear in how holy city, but we'll put our heads together to beat you this time. Let's go. Taken down. Team Skull. I will fire fang you. You're drowsy? There's no match for me. Look how sparkly the water is. A battle at sunset. Meet me. Oh. Maybe I should use leg. Ah, so close. I probably did more damage than lick. I'll use lick now. Alright, we beat his drowsy, no problem. 
Litten's probably not a huge fan of the water on his feet, but no big deal. Magnet Bomb? Yeah, sure, I guess. Better than Tackle. Excuse me. I like how they're changing up the locations of the Team Skull battles. Like, they're still happening, It's they're just in different locations. Which I think is like, let's start changing that. Uh, am I battling both of them? Oh, I just battled one of them. Nice one, kid. Mantine won't be subjected to their terrible surfing skills thanks to you. You're a decent trainer, just like I expect from a trial goer on the Island Challenge. Why don't you take this from me? Oh. Refreshments! Thank you! It's the least you could do, so I appreciate you doing it. But you could take on Captain Illumus trial with how well you handled that battle. Even Kahuna Hollow would probably say you're ready to take on all of Alola. If he says that you're ready, come back here and we'll get you up on Mantine in no time. Sounds good to me. So, uh, let's check up what's around here, and then once we finish checking out this place, probably call it an episode. Yumuku. That's probably just more silly interactions like it was with Rockruff. A white herb. Oh, enticing. Okay. Can't do anything until I can surf. Is there anything over here? No, there is not. <coughs> Alright. Sunsets. Well, actually about the same time as in real life, considering right now. It's actually starting to set. There's a freaking daylight saving time. Stupid stuff. All right, guys. Well, that is going to be where we wrap it up for this episode. In the next episode, we'll probably take on Elimus Trial. Probably. Probably can fit that in. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. Answer the comment question down below. And that is all I have for now. So until next time, we can dance. Gotta catch them all.